Hey everybody, welcome back to Ms. Anna's At Home Science Lab. Let's get started with today's science lesson. Today you'll be working to earn five stars. Let's check out this anticipatory set so you can make a prediction on what we will talk about today. A carton, a carton of cigarettes? Of cigarettes. I, 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 don't I don't know how they do things in France, France mister, but here in America, we have, we have rules about kids buying those. Dear, Dear Tim and Moby, Moby my, my brother smokes, smokes and, and I want him to stop. To stop. Can, you Can you give me some facts about smoking? About smoking? From, From Sarah. Sarah. Well, well, let's see. Let's see. Smoking, smoking causes, causes deadly illnesses, illnesses like emphysema, lung, lung cancer, and heart disease. It ups, it ups your chances getting of getting sick and, and injured, and slows and you down in sports, gives you, gives you bad breath, breath makes, you makes you cough, and stinks, and stinks up your whole life. And, and it exposes your, your friends and family to dangerous secondhand smoke. smoke. Well, well, cigarettes, cigarettes are, made are made of a plant, plant called tobacco, tobacco plus, plus hundreds, hundreds of other substances, substances like, like ammonia, ammonia, a harsh, a harsh chemical, used chemical used in cleaning products, cadmium, a toxic metal that's common in rechargeable batteries, and formaldehyde, which is used to preserve dead bodies. None of these are things you want inside your lungs. Some natural cigarette brands have no additives, but they're still terrible for you. That's because when you burn tobacco, the smoke contains thousands of other chemicals. Dozens of them are carcinogenic, known to cause cancer. Yeah, I don't know why they're even legal. Cigarettes stop your lungs from doing their job. They're supposed to take in oxygen so it can be carried to the rest of your body. But tobacco smoke contains a substance called tar. It's a sticky mixture of those dangerous chemicals we talked about. Tar damages the cells in your lungs, making it harder to breathe. Over time, that damage can develop into cancer. In fact, smoking is the number one cause of lung cancer. But it's not just your lungs that are at risk. Smoking damages your circulatory system and heart. It's one, it's one of the leading causes, causes of heart disease. It also, it also harms, harms your skin, skin eyes, and liver. And liver. <laughs> Pretty much every major, major organ, organ in the body is damaged by smoking. Well, well people, people start smoking for all kinds of reasons. They may think, they may think it makes, makes them look cool, or do it because their friends or family members smoke. But once but someone, someone starts, starts, it's really, really, really hard, hard to quit. quit. The reason for that is a drug in tobacco called nicotine. After it's inhaled, nicotine triggers the release of adrenaline. That's a chemical your body produces in scary or exciting situations. Adrenaline makes the heart beat faster, which increases blood pressure. Doing that over and over every day is not good for the heart. But this little adrenaline rush makes smokers feel alert and stimulated. Nicotine also triggers chemicals that make people feel relaxed. Smokers, Smokers begin, begin to rely on cigarettes, cigarettes to experience those feelings. They become, they become addicted, addicted, which means they're, they're unable to stop. stop. At, the At the same time, time they, develop they develop a tolerance to nicotine. They need, they need to use more and more, and more of it to get the same pleasurable effects. effects. Well, well, when smokers, smokers try to quit, they usually, they usually experience withdrawal. withdrawal. They, can they can feel irritable, irritable anxious, anxious, hungry, hungry and restless. And restless. They may they struggle to concentrate or go to sleep. People who stop smoking successfully usually need a lot of support. That's why it's way easier to just not start in the first place. Yeah, electronic cigarettes or e-cigarettes contain nicotine too. They were first sold as a way to quit smoking. The idea is that over time you switch to ones with less and less nicotine. Eventually you switch to a nicotine-free version and voila, you're not addicted anymore. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, these devices, devices haven't been all that successful in getting people to quit cigarettes. cigarettes. If anything, they've become, become another way for people to get addicted to nicotine. They come in kid-friendly flavors like fruit or candy. And the ads often claim that they're a safe alternative to cigarettes. But as we've seen, nicotine puts stress on the circulatory system. That's why chewing tobacco isn't a safe option either. It contains all the nicotine of cigarettes, plus an added risk of mouth and gum cancers. I know it stinks, but you can't force someone to stop smoking. People have to decide to quit on their own. But that doesn't mean you can't help. If someone in your life smokes, let them know that you care about them, and that you're worried about their health. 
You can write them a note or show them this movie if that makes it easier to get the conversation going. It's really hard to break free of an addiction on your own. Fortunately, there's all kinds of help for those who want to quit. Like books with detailed strategies for breaking the nicotine habit. Groups where ex-smokers meet to give each other support. And medicines that can help with those nicotine cravings. It can take a few weeks or even a few months to quit for good. But the good news is that once you stop, your body immediately starts repairing the damage. Right. If you're trying to quit smoking, remember that you don't have to do it alone. Talk to a parent or another adult you trust. It's not the easiest thing to admit, but trust me, they'll be happier knowing that you're trying to stop. Um, no, I don't think that's the best idea. Hey, thanks for watching that with me, you guys. So, based on <clears throat> that video, we're going to make a prediction on what we will learn about today. So, let's review the steps to testing an idea first. We need to listen to the question that's about to come up. Then we're going to, hmm, make a prediction. We'll think about the information we just saw in that video, and we'll check a prediction our prediction later on when we finish with the lesson. Alright, so based on the video, what do you predict we will learn about today? Our muscles, our respiratory system that helps us breathe, or cows. If you said respiratory system, you are correct. Way to go. We will be continuing to learn about the respiratory system today. All right, so let's review the steps for synthesizing knowledge. We will be using these throughout the rest of our lesson. So I want you to listen to all of your teachers. Listen to this whole science lesson. Think about this information right now while we're learning about it, and then think about how you can apply this information later on in your life. Maybe when you get older, and maybe someone asks you to try smoking. Think about this information that you learned about how smoking can be harmful to the body later on if you have to make a tough choice like that. All right, here is our I can statement. By the end of this lesson, we will be able to say, I can explain how my body is able to breathe. We will also be able to answer these essential questions by the end of this lesson. The first one is, what system controls my breathing? Second is, what body parts help me to breathe? And third is, how do I take care of my respiratory system? We have some vocabulary words that will be important to the lesson. The first one is carbon dioxide. Can you Circle carbon dioxide. There it is. Good job. Carbon dioxide is a gas that is produced when people and animals breathe out. Okay, so let's practice that. We're going to breathe in first. Okay, and then breathe out. Okay, what you breathe out is a gas that is carbon dioxide. Next up is the word bronchi. These are tubes that carry air all around the lungs. Then we have airway. Airway, can you circle airway? Good. 
That is the path the air takes in and out of the lungs, the airway. Next, we have the word cigarette. We saw an example of these in our video we just watched. Can you circle the picture of cigarettes? Here they are. Good job. A cigarette is a roll of paper filled with tobacco to smoke. All right, so we're going to have some questions throughout this lesson. I want you guys to remember this when you are answering those questions, okay? You're going to listen to the whole question first, then listen to all of the choices that you have. Take a second to think. Which one makes the most sense? And then go ahead and answer by choosing just one of the choices. All right, we're going to be continuing our chapter on the respiratory system. All right, here are some more of the main ideas from this chapter. First up is that oxygen is very important for the body. Remember, we breathe in oxygen. Next up is smoking damages the lungs. Damages means it's bad for the lungs. Here's a picture of someone coughing. <laughs> the body coughs to get rid of things it doesn't want in the airway or the lungs. People cough for different reasons. Many times when people get sick, they cough out mucus. That's that thick sometimes green or yellow stuff that we may cough up. Kind of looks like boogers. All right. People also cough if something other than air enters the lungs. Mm. A cough can be triggered by breathing in things that irritate the lungs. Smoking. Okay, so cigarettes have a lot of harmful chemicals in them. Smoking can damage all parts of the respiratory system. Smoking cigarettes is especially bad. Cigarettes damage the cells of the lungs and can lead to serious health problems like cancer and other diseases. The gases and chemicals from cigarettes damage the airway, causing more problems. If a person stops smoking cigarettes though, the lungs may repair themselves. So if someone chooses to stop smoking, their lungs can get better. To keep your lungs and your whole body healthy, do not smoke cigarettes. All right, these are unhealthy lungs. Harmful chemicals can damage the lungs. Okay, look at the smoke going in and look at how these lungs are supposed to be nice, pink and clean looking and they have smoke and toxic chemicals inside of them. Mm. All right, here's another example. These are healthy lungs that are light pink in color, and these are smoker's lungs. They're dark in color. The respiratory system is made up of very important organs. So bad things can happen if there is a problem. Both cigarettes and certain germs can kill lung cells. This causes coughing and leads to lungs that don't work as well. The chemicals inhaled while smoking cigarettes can 
permanently damage the cells of the lungs. When we accidentally breathe in germs, they often find lung cells first and can lead to damage. All right, this is a picture of an inhaler. Inhalers are used to prevent and treat asthma symptoms. Now, asthma is a rather common condition where the airway gets smaller. It's harder for air to pass through, and that can make it hard to breathe. Many things can trigger or cause an asthma attack, such as exercise, dust, or cold air. Some gases, such as carbon monoxide, are very bad for the lungs and the rest of the body. Harmful gases can even lead to death if too much is breathed in. Oof. All right, you guys get to do a lab today. So there's a video coming up that will walk you through exactly how to do this lab. Um, here are the materials that you will need to have. You will need a plastic water bottle, uh, plastic shopping bags, tape, rubber bands, and two balloons. All right, so this will help us to see how a lung inflates and deflates during breathing. Now you can either choose to watch this video first to see how it's done and then do the activity, or if you don't have the materials, that's okay. You can just watch the video and it will model uh, the same thing for you. breathe in, we pull down the diaphragm. Air flows in through the nose or mouth. The lungs expand. We breathe out. When we breathe out, we relax the diaphragm. Air flows out through the nose or the mouth. The lungs contract. And so we are going to make a model to see that happening. the bottom of the bottle off. Hang the balloon inside of the bottle. Cut off a third of the second balloon. Make a knot in the neck of the balloon. Stretch the wide opening of the cup balloon over the wide opening of the bottle. Pull the knot in the balloon back and release the knot. What happens to the balloon inside? How is this by breathing in and out? How is the model why the human lung? How is it different? Alright, you can even make a more complex model that has two lungs. I hope you guys enjoy making your model lungs. Uh, once you complete that activity or watch the video, then you can answer these questions. Okay, so the first one says, circle what the balloon represents. Does the balloon represent a bone, lung, or nose? 
If you said long, you are correct. Number two, circle what their respiratory system is responsible for. Feeling, breathing, or sleeping. If you said breathing, you are correct. Number three, circle where the lungs are. Are the lungs in the legs, chest, or head? If you said chest, you are correct. All right, we're coming up on our diversity piece. So we have listened to the lesson. Now let's apply this lesson to our community. We'll be checking out the effects of smoking. Most people don't smoke. And that's a good thing. Here are seven reasons why it's good to be smoke-free. Smoking hurts your appearance, damages your skin, and yellows your teeth. Smoking hurts your lungs, so you're more likely to get sick. Smoking makes people short of breath, so they have a tougher time moving around and playing sports. Smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, and other serious illnesses. And smoking sends chemicals into the air, which can make other people sick. Cigarettes, including e-cigarettes, contain nicotine, which is really addictive. You've heard people talk about how much cigarettes cost. There are probably other things you'd like to spend your money on. If you smoke, it's never too late to quit. Here's where to find help. You can visit smokefree.gov or call 1-800-QUIT-NOW to be connected to your state's medical quit line. And the National Cancer Institute has counselors who can help you in English and Spanish. Get the support you need to quit and start enjoying your smoke-free life. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching that with me. Now let's review our lesson. All right, first question is, blank damages the lungs. Does smoking damage the lungs? Bronchi damage the lungs? Or nutrients damage the lungs? If you said smoking, you are correct. Smoking damages the lungs. Next question is a blank is a roll of paper filled with tobacco and smoke. A lungs, cigarette, or microscope. If you said cigarette, you are correct. The path air takes in and out of the lungs is called the oxygen cell or airway. If you said airway, you are correct. All right, don't forget to go and complete your Google form activity, guys. Hope you enjoyed the uh, ex experiment today, and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. I'll see you next time at Miss Anna's at-home science lab. Bye.